Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you have a sneaking suspicion that a particular person likes you? And yes, in that like-like kind of way? But wait, does the thought of being completely wrong hold you back? You just don't know how to be sure, as it can be super embarrassing in case you were mistaken. When someone likes you, they often act differently around you than they do with other people. It's all in an attempt to seek some form of validation or approval from you. How sweet. And they have many different ways to go about it too. Some overly obvious and others entirely too subtle. So here are some things one will definitely do when they really like like that special someone. Number one, the social media stock. This is a big one. Say you meet at a party, you add each other on social media. A few days pass and you still haven't heard a word from their end. How could this be? A notification pops up. They liked a photo of yours from four summers ago. <laughs> Whoops. While you were waiting for what seemed like an eternity, they were busy searching you up. Where? On every single social media platform. They're going through all of your posts just to get a better idea of who you are. If they're really interested, they'll wanna know more about you before sending that first text. While waiting, it's not a bad idea to think of a few jokes you can send back their way, once they do, or have a stockpile of GIFs prepared. Those who GIF together stay together. Number two, obsessively rereading your texts. Speaking of texting, when someone likes you, they may struggle to not be super obsessive about it. What's the proper amount of time to wait before texting back? Do they seem to have memorized all 11,997 text messages you sent back and forth to each other over the last two months? If they're unsure how you feel about them, they may go to the very start and reread every single message. They may wanna track the narrative arc of your connection. When someone likes you, they may double or triple check the messages sent back and forth. Is that little dot, dot, dot notification driving you totally mad as you wait for them to respond? Only for them to type, Nothing? If they reply too quickly, they may be worried that they're coming off too needy or overbearing. Although if they reply too late, you might find yourself losing interest. They may text back almost immediately because they don't want you to be kept waiting. If you write in short, quick bursts and they really like you, they'll probably write back in the same exact way. Number three, copy your speech patterns and mannerisms. Do you have keywords or catchphrases that you say all the time? Have they started saying them too? If you talk a lot with your hands, do they now gesticulate widely back to you? If a person really, really likes you, they may seize every opportunity to be in your company and it's natural for them to wanna to spend more time with you. Okay, a lot of time with you. And the more time they spend with you, the more likely it is that they'll start mirroring you. They're probably going to start speaking in a similar rhythm and cadence. As the saying goes, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Number four, trying too hard in your friend circle. What is a big hurdle, if not the biggest one they have to pass if someone really likes you? Your friends. I mean, yeah, your closest group of friends know everything about you. They've probably known you for a longer time period and your social media and texting history can only tell a person so much. If a person likes you, they'll want your friends to like them too. Hanging out as a group in a social setting can be really beneficial for this reason. They are more receptive to your friends when they are recalling mutual adventures from the past. They ask your friends a ton of questions about you. If they come off as really awkward in front of the group at first, that's not necessarily a bad thing. They might just be super nervous. But if the other person puts in the effort to listen to those around you, that's a good thing. And number five, they do things you like that they have zero interest in. Do you enjoy quietly looking at artwork in museums or strolling casually through the park on a bright sunny day? Or is it more of an intense jog? If someone really likes you, they're also more likely to join in on activities that they don't normally partake in otherwise. Take exercise, for example. Are you often getting out there and working on that cardio? Does the other person never go for an intense run or even a casual jog? If someone likes you, they may be more likely to say yes to do something like this, even when they're not used to such physical exertion. They wanna share your interests. When they're going way far out of their comfort zone for you, that says a lot about them. Attraction is often complicated. Relationships can sometimes be even messier. Signs that someone likes you can be very confusing for sure. Signals can also be misinterpreted. How one person reacts to a situation could be totally different from how you would yourself. If you're the one who's obsessively checking the other person's socials and rereading their texts, it's totally okay. You're not alone.
just try to avoid accidentally liking one of their old vacation photos from four summers ago. Do you know someone in your life who's exhibited any of the signs mentioned here? Or on the flip side, have you exhibited any of them? Feel free to leave a comment with your experiences, feedback, or suggestions. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with others too. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks for watching.